Injection molding differs from extrusion in that the plastic materials are forced into a mold rather than pushed through a die to form the part. A hopper is filled with plastic material or beads which is fed in appropriate amounts to a heating cylinder or barrel at the beginning of each molding cycle. Heating elements and the action of the screw soften the material and heat it to temperatures which can be in excess of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. When a sufficient amount of plastic has been softened, the screw stops rotating and then, functioning as a plunger, forces the plastic forward through the nozzle and into the closed mold cavity. A complete injection molding cycle can range from a few seconds to several minutes in duration, depending on the part being molded. The mold, which in this instance is forming plastic covers for industrial size soap dispensers, is kept cool so the thermal plastic material will solidify and retain its shape. When the cycle is finished, the product drops from the mold and may be conveyed away from the press. Although the size, configuration, and method of operation of the injection machines may vary, the basic principles of injection molding are similar. Here, inserts are placed on a locating device in the mold cavity prior to the injection process. This allows metal pieces to be molded into the part. In this application, the inserts are placed into the cavity in the bottom half of the mold, which is then moved into the molding position. While the injection process takes place, the previously formed parts are removed and inspected. This large automatic unit produces 50 threaded caps or closures each time it cycles. As the mold opens, the caps are automatically unscrewed from the mold. The caps are used for liquid soap bottles.